Um, for those of you who think that you live on a globe, no you do not. You live on something like this. It's a flat plane with, Ant with Antarctica surrounding the outside. Okay, the globe is a lie. This is where you live. There's a dome above us. Okay, they have not been to space. They will not let you go past Antarctica, and they just recently passed another 35-year treaty through John Kerry to keep people from going there. Okay, look at the differences here. Um, how big is North America exactly? I mean, really. I mean, come on, they make up your mind. What does the Earth really look like, NASA? Yeah, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he is a lying shill, okay? He is their front man for their lies. He says it's an oblique spheroid, kind of like a pear. Well, the problem is, that's not what the fake NASA pictures are showing us. They show a ball. You know, this was another scam. Uh, the moon passing in front of the Earth. <laughs> Come on, man. The moon doesn't, moon doesn't cover that much distance in that short a period of time. The clouds don't even morph during that period. Um, this was another fake one. Uh, NASA's, or excuse me, <laughs> NASA. Red Bulls. Uh, high jump. Okay, now look at that top right-hand corner. Nice flat horizon. But when he pops out, oh, look. The fisheye lens kicks right in. Now again, as you can see here, it's bogus. Red Bull Space Jump. Um, he launched from New Mexico 55 miles away. He landed back in New Mexico. Well, well, why didn't the Earth rotate underneath him from that height? I mean, come on. Yep, fake curvature. And there's not a ball, people. There is no space. Okay, I'm going to switch to the next one. Fake satellites, guys. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get this going. Okay. Check out satellites on space. They are all CGI's. They cannot show you a real image. Gravity is just a theory, people. Okay, it has to do with it has to do with density. Density is why things fall because they're denser than the air around them. Satellites don't exist. Okay. If they did, the should, pictures should look like this, guys. There should be some satellites. The ISS should show them in their pictures. Um, something. There should be, you don't see them in any of their videos. Uh, here's what they look like. It should look like this. You know, why, don't we, why don't we see this? Uh, why wreck 1,500-foot antennas if satellites exist? It's because they're science fiction. Okay. Um, communications work by these towers. They work by underground or underground excuse me, underwater cables that are fiber optic. Um, we do have blimps and balloons that they fly at high altitudes. Um, just ask our government. They have 16,000 foot high blimps on tethers that test check for nuclear launches along the eastern seaboard. Um, one of them got loose not that long ago and they freaked out because this is a multi-million dollar balloon satellite. Why use those if you have satellites in space? Um, the ISS is fake, guys. It's not that hard to make your own. You know, this is what they're doing in the studio. Look at the curvature of the ISS and the Earth matching right there. Um, what you're probably seeing is actually a high, or, you know, is a high altitude spy jet that supposedly flies over when they tell you, oh, check your coordinates for when it flies over your, your part of the world, okay? As you can look in that picture at the top there with the ISS, you know, kind of looks like it could be a plane, as you can see. So, um, that's not saying that it is, but it's not a space station with a bunch of people flying around our planet. Uh, yeah, remember British astronaut Tim Peake? Oh, he almost drowned? <laughs> Come on, guys. There's not enough water in their spo supposed water-cooled suits for them to drown. He said almost a gallon of water filled that helmet. There's just not that much water, guys. But there is when you're doing all your testing in an underground or in a giant pool. And so here's some of the pictures of the ISS. Um, look like holograms, okay? These aren't real. Now, come on, man. This is not real, guys. This is science fiction. This is how, this is how, um, this is how your communications actually work, okay? They bounce them using Skywave. It's either line of sight, they will bounce them out the atmosphere, atmosphere like in this, 
or you have underwater cables, high altitude balloons, and blimps. That is how we do it. That's how we've always done it, and it's how we always will do it. Satellite hoax. Well, well, here we go again. I mean, come on. There's actually interference that satellites would have transmitting their signals back onto the planet. So, this is not real. Alright, now we're going to move on to the final thing. And that is fake space. Let me get this going here. Okay. Look at this. They can't figure out what the Earth right or the Earth right should look like. I mean, look at these different sizes. These are legitimate pictures, people. This is what they're giving you. Here it is again. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference there. You know, maybe. Oh, what's the greatest human strength? Well, it's when you first have to eat, breathe, shit, and piss inside a little box cone for eight days with two other guys, and then being able to put a big smile on your face when they're told that you have to go into another box with the same two guys. <laughs> and they're all laughing because it's a big joke. Um, all this to push radio signal a distance of 300 miles through the atmosphere. A simple battery from 1960 to push a signal 240,000 miles, and once it hits the Earth, through 500 miles of atmosphere. Hmm. You see a problem here? You know, look, no steam. You know, with that thing being as boiling hot as that surface of that spacecraft was coming through this atmosphere, no steam when it hits that water. There's plenty of those landings you can watch. Uh, fact, it would have been impossible to have a water-cooled spacesuit on the moon. When outside temperatures were already a boiling point of water, there would be nowhere for the heat to dissipate. That is right. So why do they slow down? How do you slow down an Apollo 11 spacecraft from over 25,000 miles an hour? Well, with three parachutes, of course, silly. God, use your brain. Still begging to believe it, and still believes this day this is a real photograph. Yeah. Nice photo, but who took the picture? I mean, was another, I guess we, there was a, another Apollo spacecraft after taking a picture of it? Uh, maybe it was aliens, that's what it was. Uh, very first landing on Apollo 11, who took that picture? Yeah, exactly. Um, they claim they left a camera on the moon and were able to actually watch it. They actually, the camera actually itself actually pans upward as the craft takes off. Well, how were they panning it? They said remote control. But there's a two-second delay. You're telling me with that air, that craft taking off with no thrust coming out of the bottom of it, by the way, somehow is uh, was able to do that on perfect timing, okay? And check into the videos when the when the module actually lifts off into the sky. If you increase the contrast, you can actually see the ceiling of wherever it is they were filming this from, as it wasn't on the moon. Yeah, computer show that the Earth is pasted into photos. As you can see there, it's pasted in. It's not real. Another fake picture of Earth. Biggest lie always needs a nice package. And there's a thousand more like this. These are all psyops, people. Psyops. The shoe fits, you can acquit. As you can see, there's a difference in the shoes. They left that print, but that shoe, there's no way that shoe could have left that print. Proof of fake moon landing in five seconds. The horizon is visible between him and the front of him and his vision. Visors showing how small the set was. Plus the lander shadow almost reaches the horizon. And what is he talking about there? Well, you can see the horizon behind the astronaut there. But if you zoom in very closely, you can see that the shadow from the lander is almost touching the horizon again. Now, I know there's a little bit of a hill there. But come on, guys. We've already shown enough as to why this is fake. Excuse me. These are the people that you believe in. Okay, they're part of a government. You believe what they say is like believing what Obama says. I mean, come on. The serpent never speaks the truth. The Hebrew word for, for Hebrew word nasa is to deceive or to beguile. It's a lie, guys. Um, check it out. Strong's Concordance. It's five three seven seven, I believe. 5377. It's not 5375, so make sure you get the strongest concordance connection correct. If this is new as if this is the NASA photo of Earth and the moon was real, wouldn't the Earth look like this? Yes, it should. And we also saw the picture there with the flag and the an astronaut, that picture is fake. More last lies. They are liars, actors, deceivers, all working for the devil. Babylon has fallen. Um, NASA has lost their funding. They have Stop their live feed from the ISS. 
they see that we're seeing through them. They can't have it anymore. Like they're just going to have to think of some other way to trick us. Um, how does one fit into a forward entrance hatch without tearing? The only thing that is keeping him alive, assuming you can fit through it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I mean, come on, the suits are pretty big and bulky, and that and you can see is that guy sitting in that little hole there. I mean, he's not even wearing a suit, and you can see it would be pretty cramped. Just trying to get through there without tearing your suit. You know, how do they, Apollo 15 managed to change into this with three men, one lunar buggy, one lunar satellite on board, and travel to the moon and back. Yep, and they did this all with the limb having the amount of battery power that a calculator has. Yeah, my phone runs on a thousand times that much information. Um, you can only fly into Earth orbit. That's as far as we can go. That's from NASA astronaut Terry Virts, 2015. Well, now, na na Terry Virts, you are a liar. Thank you for telling us the truth, though. Um, NASA have permanently etched crosshairs into the glass of their cameras. Therefore, the link line should always appear on top of objects in the photographs. All right. Well, there's a problem there. There's This is just throwing three of them, but I think there's about four or five more they're not showing you. So, um, how could that be? It's because the pictures are fake. NASA secrets. Obviously fakery. Again, a picture of the Earth photoshopped into the picture. Um, how do you guys dress up in all this gear and manage to pull a car out of a tiny door of the limb and carry it down a flimsy ladder? Well, they didn't. You know, we're back here again, guys. This is where you live, okay? You don't live on the NASA ball, Disneyland fake fantasy theory that they give you. These are the Freemasons that are controlling it all, okay? Look at the dome structures on top with the stars in it, okay? With the Earth, the flat plane below, and the Earth, and the heaven domed above with stars in it. Okay, their five-point star stands for earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Okay, this is what they believe. They are Satanists. Most of these people I feel sorry for because they don't really see the, tr the truth of, their, of this lying organization until they reach the highest degree. Again, dome ceiling with stars in it. Earth below flat. Dome ceiling, flat earth below. Dome ceiling. With the stars and, the, and all that stuff in there and the sun, flat earth below. Again, another dome, another high ceiling with stars in it, and flat earth below. And this is a continuing theme. These are all different Freemason lodges, okay? All right? All worship in the pyramid, Baphomet, and all that good stuff, okay? They're the secrets, of the secrets of the truth. As you can see here, again, another dome structure with stars in the ceiling, okay? Don't believe their lies, people. Don't believe their lies. Uh, it was nice talking to you. You guys have a good day.